right, it's finished, or finished as, as much as um, the fabrication company gonna do for this bit. Uh, so you, I'll put a picture of it up. really good from the photographs um, they're telling me that that they've got it to within within tolerance or it certainly was prior to welding and they're just going to check it um, after welding so I've just got to wait to hear from them from that but it, it all looks really good in the pictures so what I need to do now is decide um, what I'm going to do for the next stage so this is the next step is to make this um, this tower and it actually will be uh, initially it'll be, be like that without the <clears throat> viewport rings and everything in and uh, there'll be a, a brace on the under, underneath which will come out eventually once um, everything is welded in and this hatch ring is uh, skimmed flat. And I'm just finding out where I can get this hatch ring skimmed um, and that might, might determine how I get this made. But for now uh, this is the next step. I've also ordered the uh, battery pods which are coming obviously they're not going to look like this when they arrive it's just pipe and caps but those are ordered there i'm expecting those next week so as i've said before i'm just dithering around doing things really i'm just uh, cleaning up the rotary table i've, I've um, degreased it and cleaned it and i'm just putting it in this uh, evapor rust stuff just to um, get any like surface rust off it and also that's another thing I've done. Yeah. is I have bought a really cheap milling device. Now, this is the first time I've got it out of the box actually. It's one of those cheap um, AccuLock sort of Kirk copies. Um, you only have a look at some of the tool reviews. Some people say that they're all right. Some people say they're absolutely shocking. I think for, <clears throat> for what I do, to be honest, it's going to be perfectly fine. It's better than my old one. Um, Comes with some little lugs which don't fit in my lay my uh, mill table, so I could I probably have to machine them down. But then I wouldn't. I don't think I'd want it there anyway. I would want it about here, like that, in the middle. So I, I have ordered some clamps actually to clamp it down, and I just did sweep the top of the vice jaws here, and they are within 0 0.01 of a millimetre. I'm also just doing the sort of flatness of the surface on the sophisticated test. I haven't got a proper surface gauge, uh, surface plate, so just doing it on the mill table, which is about the flattest thing I've got here. And I can't feel the slightest bit of movement on that. And looking through there, there's no gap whatsoever. Now I could go to the faff of blueing this up, um, but I don't really want to know. I think that's going to be perfectly okay for me. And it was cheap. 